Welcome back y'all. And today we're answering the question, do you really need an aquarium heater? So I am constantly getting questions in the comment section of, do I really truly need a heater for my aquarium? Well, I can't really answer this question as just a broad spectrum. Yes or no. Do you need a heater? It's a little more nuanced than that. Now, if you live in a really warm climate, you keep tropical fish and your house is always between 78 and like 82 degrees year round, you probably don't need a heater. But as for the rest of us, we tend to need a heater, if not at least just half of the year. Now myself personally, I don't use heaters in the summer because it's really hot and I struggle to keep my house below 80 degrees. So I don't need it in the summertime, but in the winter, whole different topic. Now aquarium heaters are used for more than just keeping the temperatures warm. They're also about keeping temperatures in your tank stable. So there are many different types of fish out there that can handle a pretty wide range of temperatures, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they can handle large tank fluctuations in temperature. So if at night your tank temperatures fall down to 65 degrees, but in the daytime it's 75 to 80 degrees in there, that's not really good for your fish. Large fluctuations in tank temperatures can lead to a whole host of problems in our fish. It can cause your fish to become stressed, lose coloration. It can cause them to have digestive issues like constipation and it can really wreak havoc on their immune system, leaving them more susceptible to different diseases. And we really wanna keep our fish happy, healthy, and vibrant in our fish tanks. Aquarium heaters completely get rid of the worry of having to deal with these large fluctuations in tank temperatures or trying to keep our home temperatures just right so that our tank does not experience these wild fluctuations. Now, when it comes to fluctuations in our tank temperatures, we also do wanna keep in mind where we place our tanks. If you have your tank near a vent or near a window or a door, somewhere where they're gonna get more heat or more cold air blowing on them, that can also lead to fluctuations in tank temperature. It's not always just necessarily the ambient room temperature. The other nice thing when it comes to heaters is most of them have adjustable thermostats on them. So you can set the temperature and pretty much forget about it. Now there can be problems with heaters. Heaters can malfunction. So if you do need heaters, I recommend keeping an extra one on hand just in case because Sometimes heaters fail and if they do, it can be a problem and maybe you can't get to the store to get a new one right away. Now, besides tank placement, you'll also wanna keep in mind where you place your heater. You always wanna read the directions depending on what type of heater you're getting will depend on where you need to keep it in your aquarium. You'll wanna make sure that you follow the instructions because Heaters can fail and we can have a lot of big problems if our heaters fail, because not only have I heard stories of heaters failing and I've had heaters that failed, sometimes heater failure can be a bigger disaster than that. I've heard horror stories of heaters actually electrocuting people's fish. So you will wanna keep in mind, these are things that can happen if you don't place your heater correctly, you don't make sure that you're reading the instructions before you set up your heater. Always keep these things in mind because we really don't wanna fry our fish, guys. The whole point of the heater is to maintain stable temperatures and proper temperature range. Now with heaters, there's also always a risk of the heater potentially overheating. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a heater that does have an auto shut off. It's gonna turn off if it gets too hot. Another really nice tip that I have is checking your heater every now and then. Now, while most of us ideally have a thermometer that we keep in our fish tanks, another way that you can really accurately get a good picture of what the temperature in your tank is, is those little temperature guns or infrared thermometers. You just point it, click, and it will give you a temperature reading of anything that you point it at. And I really enjoy these things. They're not very expensive. You can get one on Amazon. They're not expensive. 
and they can give you peace of mind as to whether or not your thermometer is giving you the right temperature reading. I don't know how many times I have had thermometers that just stopped working after years of use. They just didn't read the temperature accurately anymore. And I mean 10, 15 degrees off from the actual temperature in the tank. So sometimes double checking that your thermometer is functioning correctly is also a really nice peace of mind that you can give yourself for an extra like $15. Now, when it comes to choosing an aquarium heater, there are a ton of different options out there. I ideally would want one that has an auto shut off for when it gets too hot. I would want one that is the appropriate size for my tank now, and I would want a reputable brand. Now, when it comes to choosing the size heater that you will need for your tank, most brands will have it listed somewhere on the back of the packaging. Now, the typical rule of thumb for this, if they don't have it listed, is about three to five watts per gallon, but this can vary also depending on what temperature your room is usually kept at and your tank placement, and of course, the size of your tank. Now for additional protection, if you do live in an area where you experience a lot of power outages, this can be a problem if you are extremely reliant on your heater. There are a few things that you can do though to help insulate your tank if this is something that you have to really worry about. You can use insulation materials such as foam boards or insulation blankets around your tank to help maintain that more stable environment and keep your temperatures up just until that power comes back on. This can add that little bit of extra peace of mind to make sure that your tank stays within temperature range as long as possible to hopefully get you through those power outages. So when you're deciding whether or not you need an aquarium heater, always remember that a reliable aquarium heater not only will prevent drastic temperature fluctuations, but will also provide the necessary warmth that you need during cold periods of time. It really is crucial if you want healthy, vibrant, beautiful fish to thrive, keeping them at the proper temperature ranges and stable, stable temperatures. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.